Oi! What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. What it's really like living in London, England, eh? Let's have a listen, shall we? Let's go! What's one thing you love about London? What do you think of London? Do you like the city? Now on the flip side, is there something you hate? Is there something you hate? What they love and what they hate, okay. Uh, yes. Are you from London? I uh, moved here three years ago. Three years, okay. Yeah. What's one thing you love about London? Uh, probably the diversity and the amount of stuff going on. And Super. then, what was the other one? One thing I don't like. <laughs> Something you don't like? Uh, probably. When you say like the diversity and the amount of things going on, I guess, uh, yeah, if you have a, a huge diverse population, you're gonna have, you know, endless different events and things happening. And that is one thing about the, the city, which can, you know, that hustle and bustle is nice, right? If you live in a small town, there's there's positives to both aspects, like living in a small town and living in the city, right? It's very related to that. It's just the busyness and can sometimes be quite intense. Did you grow up in London? Uh, that's a long story. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Tell me, what do you love about London? I love it because I live here. What do you hate about London? Too many other people live here. <laughs> Thank you so much. And what are you doing, this university or? I run a YouTube channel. So I, I've done similar things like in Montreal. I, I, I well, it's so funny because I was stopped in the street, you know, but a couple of months ago by some chap who was doing a... Th he stopped filming her, so like now she doesn't think she's on camera. What if she says something untowards? <laughs> thing about old people, you see. So... <laughs> Certainly I, not what I'm doing. No, no, so that's what he was doing. Oh, what did she say? You see, so... <laughs> Certainly I, not what I'm doing. No, no, so that's what he was doing. So my granddaughter suddenly oh. sends me a WhatsApp thing. Gonna! I just saw you on my podcast. Well, <laughs> I, I, said, ho I hope it was a popular fine. lady. I hope they weren't making fun of no, old I, people. I, I, no, no, it was okay. all, He was doing some research project. Yeah. You, well, know. you must look approachable. You're you're getting the you're, well, you're, you're know, getting famous. I suppose so. Thank you. Have a great day. It's never too late. What's your name? Uh, Inish. Inish, what's something you love about London? Something I love about London is the fact that it's a big melting pot. You just find people from all over the world, all around the world. Um, yeah, that's something we don't really have in Portugal. The multiculturalism, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the one thing I love about London is its history and its culture, and that uh, it's a welcoming space for everybody to come visit. Now, on the flip side, is there something you hate about London? I hate that everybody comes here to visit, and <laughs> I hate that it's All the people like me. <laughs> hey, I, like, I hate really crowded areas as well. I went to Niagara Falls in Ontario, or the States, like, it's on both sides of the Canada and the U.S., and yeah, there's so many people there. Uh, it's just not for me. Uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> no, I love everyone coming to visit. I hate that you have to pay so much to do cool stuff in London. It should be a lot cheaper. Now, on the other side, is there something you hate? Uh, yes, if you take the undergrounds during rush hour, it's absolutely mental, absolutely chaotic. Uh, you are just, you feel like a sardine inside a tin. Uh, you just get all sweaty and then like you get outside and it's really cold. So no, I can attest to that. I was in Vancouver just the other day and I had to take the train and then I'd take a bus. And it just definitely reminded me of how much I dislike being on public transit <laughs> it sucks i don't really know how to dress up for the underground and... we enjoy it outside. you're working in london yeah but you most you... of the time okay what's your name michael beckett michael what's one thing you love about london i just love london it's the greatest city on earth um michael beckett you, i forget who it is who said it if, if you're tired of london you're tired of life and, and that is absolutely true. Wow. So everything. Yeah. Profound. Um, I mean, I, <clears throat> I'm 90 years old. Wow. And um, two months ago. Happy I, birthday. Yeah. And I worked at the Bank of Montreal. Too late for the happy birthday. And I'm just down here for a, an annual pensioner's lunch, which is just around <laughs> the corner here. And um, 
I live in Devon. I can only hope to make it to 90, and if I do make it to 90, I can only hope to be as clear-headed and concise and just... This guy's awesome. Now, in Exeter. You won't believe it. I just got off a plane from Montreal. Have That's you? where I flew from. Have you? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Well, I'm, we're very much involved with um, Canada. Um, one of my mother's sisters married a Canadian Army officer. Lieutenant after the war, after the Second World War, and he was um, a Lieutenant Colonel Reg Abrams, and um, he married this, married my mother's sister, and he got me a job with the Bank of Montreal. Oh, yeah. I bet you've seen a lot of changes in London over the years. We, yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't I guess agree so. with all the changes. No, certainly the policy, the politics of it. Is there one thing specific you dislike about London, one of the things that you wish were different? Well, I don't like the political interference, of, you know, yeah. like the, the um, taxi driver couldn't get drive here to the city because they've, they've banned vehicles coming across London Bridge. As you can see, it's empty now. Oh, I see. But I mean, originally you, you just get a bus from the tube or a taxi, not, not a bus. It's a lot of bureaucracy, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, too much bureaucracy, interference in daily life say that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. that's the government specialty i don't know if you ever go on youtube i could uh i could tell you where to <laughs> yeah there you are <laughs> michael beckett what a legend that guy was i don't know if you saw that at the end he took out his phone he said uh let me get a photo he took a photo of me he's like you got the video i'll take a photo okay there you go <laughs> nice to see you i do go on youtube yeah are you from London? Are you visiting? So, uh, visiting we're just London. visiting. Where visiting. are you from? Sheffield. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Well, what's one thing you love about London? Something that we love about London is it's very happening. So people are very happy, busy. Yeah. So it's a happening place. Yeah. That's something we like about London. And something that we don't like about London is something similar. It's very busy, really busy. People are really busy. And then one thing we like most uh, is the you know the mix of culture i mean the, the yeah. versatility in uh, you know in the city it has uh, so many people so many diverse culture uh, so many places to visit you said you're from sheffield yeah is it less diverse is it like a different feeling yeah. what what i've never been there yeah. sheffield is more like a steel how far is sheffield from like the heart of london that's i'm curious Industrial base, so it's oh, okay, a steel okay. city. Industrial place. So yeah. yeah, I mean the po the population wise, the uh, uh, you know the people. There are uh, many mix of people there in Sheffield. Oh, so very cool. In, in London, it's it's like you can meet. Uh, you know, you run into almost all the people in the world. Uh, first of all, are you from London? Did you move here? I moved here a year and a week ago. A year and a week. Yeah. Awesome. So <laughs> after a year in London, what do you love? What do you hate? Food options absolutely love what do i hate the tube <laughs> i hate getting on the tube <laughs> just too crowded or what, what do you hate about it the tube sucks like public transportation it's horrible you're all stuffed into this little thing like you're all close and jostling with each other it's uncomfortable and awkward and dehumanizing too crowded too hot too busy i'm like peaceful, too crowded quiet. Too, yeah. so yeah yeah I'm with you. Maybe could you tell me in French what do you what do you think of London? Do you like the city? Either uh, one who would like to answer. In French. Oui. Euh, bah, on aime beaucoup Londres. On se sent bien. On pense même à y être un jour. I mean, it's definitely in, London's a hugely iconic city, one of the greatest, and you know, Michael Beckett was right. On aime l'ambiance, euh, les gens. Euh, Historical. Super. And maybe so in history. Arabic, what do you think yeah. of London? London, Medina, Jamila, Jidden, Jidden, Fah, Kafir, Man al Bashar, La Fah, Barsha, Hazat, and Gidu Namu Fah, and Ajay Mintunas, and Gethro. I don't know Arabic, so there's no subtitles. Said Jidden. Okay, I understood the French. I have no idea. Could, yeah. you, could you tell I, me what you said? Yeah, yeah, I said oh, that uh, London is a beautiful city, uh, and there is a lot of people in this city, and it's it's uh, very cosmopolitan uh, cosmopolitan city. 
Cosmopolitan. So, okay. so you- cosmopolitan is sort of a theory of ideas of a. I guess because cosmopolitan is a very mixture of all different cultures, like a one-world city, right? Is what my understanding of cosmopolitan is. It's like a city of the world. So it's 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 less regional and more worldly, I suppose, and uh, mixtures of different, just everything. You said you're an international student? Yes. Where are you from originally? Canada. Oh, I'm Canadian too. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm visiting from Montreal. Oh, I'm from Toronto. Very cool. <laughs> okay, so you're from Toronto, you're in London. Yeah. What do you love about the city? I love, um, I love that you can walk a lot to a lot of places. Like, I don't really mind taking like a 15 minute walk, especially when the weather is nice. Like, um, you don't do that in Canada. You drive everywhere. Like, it doesn't matter if it's like a 10 minute walk, you'll drive. Um, yeah, yeah definitely wrong. a walking culture here. Yeah, I like okay. it here. So she's definitely. Bleeding gums are serious, Jamie. Correct. Like, we drive everywhere, and it's. There's a couple of reasons for that. Our public transit sucks, unless you're in the metro area of a big city. So if you're not in Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto, Montreal, Quebec City. If you're not in one of the bigger cities in Canada, the transit's going to suck. Like maybe Victoria has some decent transit Like in, for other s- smaller cities in British Columbia. The metro Vancouver area has pretty decent transit. But like I said, we were talking about earlier in the video, it's it still sucks, man. Taking public transit is the worst for me. Like I don't like it. I like walk. Like she's right. Like walkable cities is something that Europe Europe does a lot better. Like the UK and Europe, they have walkable, livable cities. We have beautiful nature and beautiful parks and forests and mountains and rivers and lakes and fishing and recreational activities and all of that stuff. But you got to drive there. <laughs> Although I do love jogging, I can go jog from my house and it's fine, right? But is there something you hate? <laughs> One thing that I hate about London would probably be just how often it's raining. It's like gloomy all the time. Sounds and like Vancouver. Today the weather is great, but usually it's not that great. It's just British. Very yeah. cool. That sounds like British. So Toronto is also a big city. Do you have like a I favorite? Hate Tor- I don't hate Toronto, to but I don't like Toronto that much. Tor- it's like. Like, like Toronto versus London. That was Any strong thoughts? words. Obviously oh, walkability. Like Anything else that's like super different here? Okay, Toronto versus London. Um, I think that I like how the streets look better in London. I think in Toronto it gets a lot, a lot more crowded. Yeah. In a breaker area, you know. Toronto is chaotic AF and the traffic's horrendous. You have that highway comes right through like downtown. And, uh, I don't know. I didn't really like our time in Toronto that much. How here it's like only in like sections and stuff. Um, I think it might be cheaper to live in Toronto. That's one thing. I think anywhere might be cheaper than here. I think a lot of places are cheaper than London. Um, London's really expensive, but, I guess. Hey, yeah. eh? wow. I didn't know it was. Like, oh, wait a minute. Let me think about. Um, like, how much is it for like a one bedroom flat? Yeah. Comes before the love. <laughs> well, yeah, because uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, are you from London? I'm born and bred. Born and bred. This is the accent. <laughs> yeah. What do you love about London? I the thing I love about London is always something to do. Always. Never get bored with London. Beautiful. And the reason now, I don't like it uh-huh. is probably the crime levels. Yeah, mm. that's what I don't like. You said you were born here. Have you seen a change in that? Is has it got worse? Has it always been this way? I think it's got worse. That's that's. I think it has. Yeah. But there again, we're all on social media so much, so we're all aware of just what crime's taking place. If social media wasn't there, we wouldn't be so aware. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you wonder if it's just the perception. Yeah. You do. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So cool. yeah. What was but, your name? Steve. Steve, thanks yeah. a lot, right. Steve. Thank you, then. Appreciate Bye. it. Before we go, I got to give a quick shout out to St. Christopher's Village Inn. Big shout out for this, this guy. This is a hostel in central London. Um, Short walk from. Shout out to St. Christopher's Hostel in London. Interesting video. I, I really like this style of YouTube channel where they can just go and kind of interview people and put their finger on the pulse of what people are thinking in different 
countries and different cities and you never know who you're going to run into like this type of vlog and type of video you never know what type of story you're going to get like it was great to hear from michael beckett and you found out about his his mother's sister married a canadian after the world war and then that's how he got his job with the royal bank of montreal or the the bank of montreal and his thoughts and he's 90 which is crazy that means he's born in 1934 probably yeah 1934 wow oh crazy beautiful love it all right 